Hello, beautiful people. How you doing out there today? So the great debate. What was the best era? 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, beyond? For me, it was the 80s. But the 80s was also the worst of times for me. And this is what this video is about. You see, the 80s heralded in things like breakdancing. But we also got to grow our hair long and worship the gods of metal. So, during these times, we got to discover many, many great things, but also great tragedies. The world was introduced to AIDS. The Challenger blew up in our faces when we were watching it from the shores in Florida. So many things happened in the 80s, and even Gorbachev and Reagan did this great ballerina that eventually caused the wall to come down in Germany. No, Gorbachev's not from Germany. Check it out. <laughs> anyway... For me, it was bad because we traveled a lot. Now, normally you'd think that would be good, but traveling meant moving. I went to 13 different schools in my life. Being the new guy was always a problem. Being a new guy always led to bullying, always led to problems, always led to broken parts, bloody noses, black eyes, led to many things that the modern kid doesn't really know about but uh, we from the 80s didn't bitch about it we didn't say too much about it we lived life I will say though that it wasn't the only part of the bad news scenario that I had I grew up in a household that parents fought like it's World War 3 nearly killing each other on multiple occasions all of this caused me to become a little downtrodden a little depressed. I went through a small period of contemplating suicide. It's not a pretty place for those who've been there, and I understand. But know that there's there's greatness out there. There's greatness for you. There's greatness for you and your family. Don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Keep believing in yourself. Find somebody who can believe in you. During one of these moves... And during my lowest time, I met a guy who knew a guy. And we went to this guy's house and they introduced me to something called Dungeons and Dragons. And this started it all. Because I got to have an outlet, whereas I didn't have one in my home. I didn't have one in the schools. Got to have an outlet for my brain, for my psyche, for my spirit for my imagination and that outlet was beautiful that outlet led me to not only the gaming side but it also led me to a new world of books a new world of imagination a new world of believing there could be something better and so it was from these books from this game led me out of my dark place led me out of suicidal thoughts I gained new friends, new habits, my mind opened up, I got better in school. Everything changed for the better. Now, what happened? 80s wasn't great for me because somewhere along that time, my father got into a motorcycle wreck, got put into a coma for a little bit of time and we eventually had to move to a town called Carbondale. In Carbondale, I hooked up with a different crowd. They were a college crowd, and I was still in high school. Went kind of down of a dark path again, even though I thought it was fun. So, ultimately, what happened was I decided to join the military because I had to get out of Dodge. I had to get out of everything. Start a new life. And I did. So I got into the military and I became the military's man. For nearly 10 years, I did what they wanted, where they wanted. And thought I had a good time. But reality is, is I lost everything. I lost the dream. I lost me. I lost connection to the spirit. Lost my mother at the time and many good friends. 
So it wasn't necessarily a good change, even though I had to get out of Dodge to do it. Or rather, should I say, I chose to get out of Dodge to do this. Now that choice I made was for the better, for a little while anyway. We all have to make decisions in our life. And that decision was to get away from bad people, to get away from bad juju. So I did 10 years in the military and then I did 10 years in the corporate world after the military and all through this time I still have not found myself. Got out of the military and the corporate world and decided to kind of pull the plug and I moved off grid for a while, try to refine myself. And I did. So this is where you find me now. I won't bore you with all the years in between. We all have a story. But for me, I'm back. Connected with the spirit again. I'm reading. And I'm writing. So that's what this channel is going to be about. Books saved my life so very long ago. And they're helping me once again. As I journey through this life and age, I finally got back to me. And I hope that uh, you find you. And I'll talk more about what that means maybe in future posts. But for now, it's enough to say that if your life sucks, fix it. And if you can't fix it, imagine it. You think on it long enough, you think on it hard enough, you imagine it enough, you vision it enough, you'll find a path. The universe will open a path for you. For me, it was books. It was the game, Dungeons and Dragons. So now, what will I do with it? I'm writing. Soon, hopefully, you'll see my name on a few books. And I'll be telling you about some of my favorite books along the way. I'll be reviewing many, many, many books uh, because I've tried finding a way to get paid for reading. Wouldn't that be a great life? <laughs> I couldn't do it. So what I have done instead is I found the thing called YouTube. Yes, I know it's been around a long time. And I've been on it. Some of you have seen me doing smoothies or building a geodesic dome or those types of things. But now I'm going to put my story out there for everyone to hear. And I hope that I can touch just one person. If it's you, awesome. If you need a little bit of help, reach out. I'm here. I understand. I've been there. Now, on to the good stuff. Future videos, you're going to see things like book reviews. You're going to find out things that I like, hardcover books versus Kindle versus Audible. You're going to find out what are my favorite books, what genre is awesome, what's not, what genre I'm going to be writing in, and those types of things. But I hope to hear from you. I hope you engage with me. I will engage back with you. And I hope to hear from all of you, and I want to know what your favorite books are. Just to start it off, my favorite genre is fantasy, sci-fi. Dragons, monsters, magic. Uh, even some sci-fi stuff, uh, which we'll get into a little bit later. So, this is me. My name is Scott, and you're going to hear a lot more from me uh, soon, my friends. Thank you and have a beautiful day.